The old tennis saying is looks and warm-ups don't count. And the person who coined that phrase could have been Jerry Caldwell. Jerry Caldwell probably did more with less than anybody I've ever seen in the sense of at least how it's supposed to be. Um, I nicknamed him Strokes mainly because he doesn't have any. And I've been asked many times how it was that Jerry won so much with such strokes that were not classic, if you will. My answer is always the same. I don't know. All Jerry Caldwell ever did on the tennis court was win. 29 state titles, 25 Southern titles, seven number one rankings in the Southern section. In 1981 alone, he was ranked number one, number two, and number three in the Southern men's 45 doubles. And how'd he do that? Well, with three different partners. A great doubles player. His record is unsurpassed by anyone I know for his doubles play. But I'll tell you, uh, he is and was a fabulous doubles player. Would get to the net first chance he got, and uh, it was hard to get the ball by him. He had just incredible hands. By his own admission, his strokes are unique. His repertoire includes the frying pan grip, the windshield wiper volley, and the old joke is that he can outrun his serve to the net. Uh, I met him on court three at Bitsy Grant. Uh, when I was in college, I looked at him and I told Bill Shippey, I hear he's pretty good. Bill Shippey said, he is awful. Next thing we would know, we were down 3-1 and first set to him, and we quit hitting the ball to Jerry. He always would use the windshield wiper effect, hit the ball on the same side of the strings. I used to kid him, he never wore out his backhand strings because he never hit the ball on that side of the racket. He took up tennis late and his strokes are absurd looking. He makes Coach Dodd look like he had uh, orthodox strokes. But once he gets to the net, the point is almost always over. He can laugh at himself, but his friends and opponents know he takes his game very seriously. Jerry probably has uh, just tremendous confidence in his ability uh, and in the team's ability. He was always very positive and uh, would um, look for the, the right thing to do and the right thing to, uh, to uh, try to figure out what was going on in a match. Very, very friendly, but underneath that Friendly exterior is just a, a guy who learned how to play doubles despite no overhead, no forehand, no backhand. Don't ask me how other than he gets to the net, he's long and tall, and you cannot hit it through him. He's going to knock it off and he's impossible to read his shots because of his very unorthodox uh, uh, style. I never give up and uh, that's, I think of Jerry the most in that way. He just had a tremendous amount of confidence and, um, and followed through on it. Caldwell will also go down as one of the early trailblazers for Alta's growth. His fingerprints are on the formation of the Juniors League that he helped start in the early 1970s. Very helpful in promoting tennis. Recently, he's, because of his efforts as a player and a contributor, the Southern Tennis Association put him in their Hall of Fame as well as we put him in ours many years ago. And Jerry's just, a, just an unassuming great guy. Jerry Caldwell, a member of the Georgia Tennis Hall of Fame.